Half a day. My name is Al Garrido from the Division of Curriculum and Instruction. And I'm going to be going over in this screencast the lesson plan designs that you will be using to support our models of instruction. First, the objectives. By the end of this session, you will, one, know how lesson plan designs are applicable to the three models of instruction, and two, be able to design lessons that are student and parent appropriate to support distance learning. But before we start, let's go over a little bit of history of what transpired. Everyone remembers back in March, there was a school closure, Executive Order number 2020-04, which effectively canceled schools. From April through July, the Guam Department of Education started shifting towards distance learning. We ended third quarter, and we started supporting student learning at home. We developed a home learning resource website and parents started teaching their children. And now August comes upon us and it will be the dawn of a new era, a brand new approach to education for all of us. And with that brand new approach comes three models of learning. The first model will be online learning, second model, hard copy, and the third model, face-to-face. What transpired during that time? Parents are now at the forefront of learning. Parents are unprepared to manage parenting and homeschooling. And some of them had to learn how to understand lesson plans and support their children. Creating, maintaining, and implementing distance learning, there was a lot of confusion and stress for teachers. There was a shift from classroom to home learning. Addressing all external challenges on education began. And then there was validating learning. Assessments were canceled and there were continuing concerns. Is my child progressing or learning skills for the next grade level? To a parent, lesson plans are like treasure maps. You never really find the treasure. Just like lesson plans would take parents towards a certain direction, a lot of them just could not understand. Common lesson design parts and guidance. Number one, you want parent student information and instruction for lessons. Number two, content. There should be explanation of content, reading materials, videos, PowerPoint slides, and handouts. And number three, there should be engaging activities, practice activities, applications, and extension activities. Parent and student information and instruction for lessons. Lesson plans should be written in parent and student friendly version. Subjects and standards. Introduction to a lesson. Be clear on what students will be learning or practicing for the week. Explain why this knowledge is, or skill is important for them. What activities will they be doing? What are they going to learn? What will they be practicing and what knowledge or skill will they be picking up? Clearly indicate what is included in your packet. How many pages do you have? Label your handouts and what should be done each day. Here's an example of a really well-prepared lesson. This lesson is on US history. Topic is the Bill of Rights. Right here, you have an explanation of why or the skill that, or knowledge that is important for the student. Your objectives clearly show the goals of the lesson. Here's an agenda for the week. And on this side, you also have announcements which helps when parents want to contact the teacher through email or a contact phone number in case they want to make a phone call. Explanation of content, reading materials, video slides, and handouts. Provide parents with background knowledge. Help them know what's going on. Include descriptions of the standard skills or topics. Include I can statements. Clearly write step-by-step -step instructions that introduce materials. Don't assume that parents know it. Organize materials for clear and easy access for your parents. In this example, this is organized so that it's clear on what you want them to do. And this section here provides background knowledge for both parents and students. Why do they need to know the engineering design process? Clearly explained right here. Number three, engaging activities, practice activities, applications, and extension activities. Provide step-by-step -step instruction for handouts, graphic organizers, worksheets, projects. Have regular opportunities for questions from your students and parents. 
have office hours. Be clear about when, how, and why parent and students can contact you. Provide parents with feedback, just as you would with students. Make them feel like they're on the right track. Implement strategies and accommodations for exceptional learners, SPED, ESL, or GATE. Provide step-by-step -step instructions for your handouts, when the activity worksheet needs to be done, label activities and worksheets right here, clear instructions, clear instructions in this example. The bigger picture, if you do this correctly, Parents will now be more involved in their child's learning experience. They won't be out of touch. You won't exclude them from the learning experience. Teachers, you must provide support to parents on distance learning. We need to do this together. We need to work together through this process. And finally, the, probably one of the most important things is the mindset. Having a growth mindset will allow for a continuous improvement of the lesson plan design process. Thank you for listening, and if you would like a copy of this screencast and other screencasts, you can find them on the GDOE YouTube site. Have a great day.